everyone's wrong about the Jonah Hill ex-girlfriend situation. Both people seem to have issues they need to work on. And we also don't have enough context, so picking sides is ridiculous. Here's what is true. Everyone has the right to communicate their boundaries. You may not like them, but you don't have to stay in that relationship. You also can't judge someone's actions over a few texts. If you clipped any couple's exchanges, you can make everyone look bad. You don't know the full story. Joan and Sarah had seemingly been in relationship counseling before, so maybe they've already had multiple talks and this was a final direct effort to communicate. Maybe she had a history of being overly flirtatious with other male surfers. Or maybe he was just insecure and jealous. The point is, none of us know. But I will say that if you get with someone who is a surfer that posts bikini shots on Instagram, you should probably accept them if you're trying to date them. Especially when it's those types of pictures that likely attracted Jonah in the first place. It's a bit silly to expect someone to change their whole professional life that they worked really hard for. I also think it's really strange to air out your dirty laundry months after a breakup and after your ex is having a child with another person. I get when women have to do this to expose sexual predators. That's completely reasonable. But these text messages don't inherently show abuse. Yes, he might have emotionally hurt her and he might not have been a healthy partner. In that case though, you've got to address your problems with the individual, or go to therapy, or get support from your friends and loved ones. Celebrities need to stop publicly dishing out their relationship problems. You don't need input from the millions of trolls, keyboard warriors, and people who don't know jack about your situation. It always makes things worse.